sasa mama ke alikuja mwezi wa 5 ilikuwa tarehe 5 wakati alikuwa ameniambia ta kuja na familia yangu nimekuwa waki Three year old boy from Inkuruma village in Marani in Kisi County is admitted to hospital after his eyes were get out by a gang believed to be known as a baby Sagini embarks on the journey to recovery after he was kidnapped and his eyes get out. Police have been in Inkuruma village in Kisi County recording statements and looking for clues on what may have transpired. Baby Sagini's father, grandmother and seven year old Sibling recorded their statement with the police on Saturday. DCI and crime unit officer deployed to the village after news of the attack are searching for others and questioning residents. Police noted that there was no blood where the child was found, leading to the conclusion that the baby Sagini's eye were likely removed elsewhere before he was left on a neighbor's farm. He is expected to undergo a second operation to clean debris from wounds in his eye socket and prevent the risk of infection to his body. Miss Maureen Naboke, who is the mother to Sagini, is in denial and cannot understand why her three-year-old boy was tortured and his eyes gazed out by unknown people. Miss Nyaboke, who left the son in the care of his father a few months ago after they disagreed, returned on Saturday to see her child in the hospital. Then Source, however, said she had been in and off relationship with her husband and that she had left her home a few months ago after they disagreed. She came into the marriage with her two children. Guys, this story is heartbreaking to say the least. Totally inhuman act done to an innocent child. What happened to humanity? It pains more just by the fact that this is my birthplace. When did my kin turn to be monster over their own? Whatever they did to baby Sagini is so terrifying. How do you gauge eyes of a three-year-old baby then dump him in maize plantation in the middle of night? Guys, this is a heartbreaking story. What do you have to say according to this story? If you have something to say, please comment on the comment section and if not if you have not subscribed and should subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a video bye bye guys until i see you in my next video sasa mama ke alikuja mwezi wa 5 ilikuwa tarehe 5 wakati alikuwa ameniambia ta kuja na familia yangu nimekuwa waki kiuliza papa ke ako wapi so mali kafika kaniletea watoto ilikuwa tarehe 5 mwezi wa 5 Kaniajia watoto hapa, kaniambia kuna mali, anafanya kibarua. Waja wameandiko kwa poma ya mtu. Kutoka hapo mwesi kaisha, kakuja tena mwesi ingine tarea saba. Tena mwesi ingine, kakuja tarea tano. Kwanzia hiyo mwesi, kawa natuma pesa kidogo. Natuma siringi miambiri kwa watoto wawili. Sasa kutoka hapo, akaanza kuniongeresha maneno ya siyo ya daweka. Eti nilikuwajia watoto hapo, chunga watoto wako, na mimi wacha niripe deni ambayo nikonaye. Hadi saa hii, mi mwenye wanauliza ama nachiuliza mawayoni wangu. Ni deni gani ya nafanyia, ichawa iisha. Hadi saa hii, maali kafika, nikiongeresha watoto, wanakimbia wanansa kutoka na wakitoa nduru. Hati saa hii, mtoto mmoja, ndiye huyo ambaye ni chuni, wakati niritoka azubui, niriwacha hapa. Nikaenda kutoa pesa ya nirikuwa, siringi miyasawa. Niwanunulie chakura. Wakati nirurio di chioni, niripata mtoto mmoja, ambaye ni shantere, na mamangu laeni ya kerai. Siku ulisia mtoto ako wapi. Wada yo kaniambia mtoto amekwasekana tangu ulivoenda. Kwanzi hapo, kauliza mama umemtavuza. Kaniambia umemtavuza, umemkosa. Na mimi nikaerekea kwa barabara ya juna ya chini kuangalia kama nitampata ikamkosa asipoi yake ndipo alipatikana kwa shamba la ndugu yangu hapo chini
na hapo ni mahali nilipopita hapo jioni hiyo hiyo sikumpata asubuhi yake mwati wa watu ulicha hapa wakisema ya kwamba ni mimi nimechulia mtoto amengolewa macho yake mbili tukampeleka hadi mora akapimwa huko kwa kapata hawesa mtipu wacha tumpeleke kisi level 5 hospital madaktari wawili walimwangalia na macho pia sisi tulisudia amengolewa macho yake na wakasema hawataweza wacha tumpeleke hospitali nyingine ambayo ni yes medical hospital hadi sasa hicho kijo eh mimi na sasa pengine huyo mtoto alichukuliwa mahali ili semekane ni sisi akaletwa hadi kwa hiyo familia yetu ya chini kini cha ama chanzo cha hicho akichapatikana mwenye aliumiza huyo mtoto hata kama ako hai Mungu atamsaidia na ataweza kuongea Okay, mama alipita kichichini kila chumba alicharipu kumtafuta akakosekana hapo ndipo mahali angemtafuta mahali alikuwa anacheza na wenzake hakukua huko asubuhi yake mama alienda kwa chifu kama report akopata hiyo chifu alipata mama yake yani pipi yake kama report kisha mama karudi ilikuwa na paswa kuni hapo ya kutengeneza cho kulikuwa na mama mwingine hapa ambaye ni Margaret wakati aliitwa na kichana ya ndugu yangu alimwambia baba kuja tukashtuka ni nini atikuja ni kuambie wakaenda mbio wakapata huyo mtoto amerasa pale chini kwa shamba mali mlipopiga picha juzi hiyo ndio ni Boris alisaka leo asubuhi wakaenda na kichana ya ndugu yangu na jana pia walienda na kichana ya ndugu yangu ambaye wanaendelea kumchunguza ukunya Kongo Boris station tasai tutapata pari yoyote lakini najua kweli utapatikana hapa walichukua nini hawakuchukua chochote Uh, ni chana jana walichukua kakichiti hivi ka, kaina ka kawaya bako nilikuwa natumia kutengenezea redio walienda nako waende kuchunguza kama damu inaweza patikana kwa hiyo kawaya ile mchuku yangu hapa napika mchuku sini mchuku ni kitoko ile mama yaka na wacha angalia kucha anaona mtoto anakata kucha anaona mtoto anakata kwa nini mimi hakuna nguvu ya kusabisa nguo ya kwenda ile kibarua ya kutoa ndagira mtoto 